The creators of Game of Thrones have ditched the old castles and gone galactic with a sci-fi epic featuring 11-dimensional supercomputers and a planet with three suns. Are you ready to travel 18 million years into the future? Really wanted to get away from horses, says David Benioff. It has been five years since the end of Game of Thrones, the world-conquering show that put Benioff and his joint showrunner D.B. Weiss on the iron throne of small-screen entertainment. Anticipation has been high as to what they do next, especially after their $200, $157 million, left from HBO to Netflix in 2019. The answer turns out to be a complete U-turn, away from high fantasy and into futuristic sci-fi. So it's goodbye to swords, sex and feudal scheming, hello to interstellar travel and quantum entanglement. Really mean it about the horses. Horses are dangerous if you don't know what to do with them. They weigh like 1,200 alps. And they run really, really fast, says Weiss over video call from an unusually rainy Los Angeles. I think a minor miracle that we escaped eight years in Westeros with no actor being seriously injured says Benioff. It almost happened in the last season. Nikolaj Kosterwaldo, who plays Jaime Lannister, fell off a horse, and he was one of our best riders, but there were wet cobblestones and the horse slipped. Luckily, Nick is a good enough athlete that he was able to jump clear. It wasn't just the horses, nor was it Northern Ireland, where much of the show was made. I feel nostalgic when I look out of my window and I see a rare case of LA looking the way Belfast did, says Weiss. But Thrones fans sense that Benioff and Weiss were tiring of their golden goose during a final season that, for many, brought the saga to a disappointing conclusion. We loved the time we spent doing what we did, says Weiss. But it was 13 years. You're living, sometimes literally, in castles day in, day out operating in one world, within the confines of one subgenre. At a certain point, things start to ossify if you stay in one place for too long. We wanted to shake things up, 